Thanks so much for joining us at 10. I'm Mark McPherson. East Elementary School will be open tomorrow, two weeks after a fire in the basement closed that building. Today, WMTV's Tap of the Bland talked to officials at the district office about getting back in that building, Tabitha. Yeah, damages from the basement fire and restoration efforts are what caused this school to look a little different for East Elementary students. Parents and district officials are looking back on the last two weeks as students are finally returning to East Elementary tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, October 1st, should look like a regular day at school at East Elementary School. Superintendent Charles Yernis is excited for East Elementary students to return to their normal classrooms tomorrow. While the school was closed, students met outside to then be bused to other schools in the district. We did attendance, we did announcements, we fed them breakfast, uh, we set up a tent and porta potties, and they were able to get on the buses with their teachers and then go to West, the middle school, and the high school. Nathan Fuller's son is in third grade at East Elementary. We, we really didn't know what to tell our son. Um, it was kind of, we were all didn't. It was kind of an unknown territory. But for the last two weeks, his son went to a different building. He was at the high school, so it's kind of a culture shock. He hasn't in high school yet. But Fuller said his son quickly embraced the temporary change. While at the high school, they got to do uh, some cooking stuff, which was cool. We never had that opportunity at East before. Um, last week, there were some football players outside uh, and uh, encouraging everybody, and it just was really fun. Yernis says that there is another silver lining to it all. With the restoration completed and the air quality passing with flying colors. We joke that it's cleaner than it's ever been. Um, the, the building is an 80 plus year old building. It's going through some renovations right now. Um, so you can imagine what it looks like. And, and there's some great things going on with the renovations, but the cleanliness is at an all time high level right now. So silver lining to, a, to the cloud is what we like to joke. And while they are grateful that their kids were able to continue classes the last two weeks, parents like Fuller are ready to send their elementary students back to the elementary school on October 1st. It's just really exciting to go back and, and to not have to be kind of making do. We're back to, to normal again. Yernis says that even though students are returning to school tomorrow and the air quality is safe, the investigation as to what exactly caused the generator fire is still ongoing and will remain ongoing until October 10th. In studio, Tabitha Bland, WMTV 15 News.